Hey YouTube, John the Raven here, going for a little walk along the river, uh, I'm here at Camp Magnus, just barely see my windmill going over there, my wind generator, pretty hot down here today, uh, went to work this morning and up not feeling very well and all of us ended up coming home we were short-handed only three of us and two of us were feeling pretty puny things just haven't been going very well for me so told me she doesn't ever want me to come back so that's pretty much the end of me and wow this river's changed <laughs> got a little cove here now that wasn't here before but, uh, the water has dropped quite a bit so anyway I'm back down here was staying in the boss's driveway again, but uh, had a little trouble. His uh, his new girlfriend, who's somebody who I knew out of the past, I thought we were friends, but apparently uh, gossiping and with other people and getting drunk and saying things to me is the way it's supposed to be. So. I pretty much decided I'm not going back there ever again. I will go there for work, but uh, otherwise I'm not going to be staying there. I don't care whatever it takes. I'm just tired of it all. I'm so sick of every everything, people, everything. Well, that's an interesting sandbar. <laughs> but anyway, here I am. Looking thing down here. Walking along here, just checking things out. I'm really depressed. I just can't help but have this feeling that I'm probably not going to make it through the rest of this year. Here I am, nearly 63. I'm barely getting by living in a truck shell still wherever I can find somewhere to park I don't make enough off social security nowadays to be able to afford rent in this area and eat so uh, I got told by my sister to go to the old folks home <laughs> yeah you know what I say about that but uh, anyway Wishing it would cool off a little bit, but it hasn't yet. I'll call the boss here after a bit and see how everyone else is feeling or whether we're working or not, but I really just don't know if I'm going to be going back to work or not. Just not feeling very good. Mentally or physically. shouldn't say things like this, but sometimes I wish I could just wait out on this river and never come back. Pretty much when I was told that I never stand a chance of going back home, I felt like my death warrant was signed, because that's all I really care about. fault I guess I fucked that up I don't know anyway I thought we'd go for a little walk I'm gonna start heading back it is quite hot out here I need to get cooled down and relax um, went and had lunch with the ex today and 
it was okay, but I don't think it went very well. Nothing's going to become of this. I just need to just, just give up. I'm going to walk over past here where Magnus was buried. much I just don't think I'm gonna be leaving here I'm really sick today I had diarrhea and throwing up and I think a little touch of food poisoning or a stomach bug or something that one of the other employees brought and, uh, I'm just not feeling very well camp and get through this brush without the ants attacking me. Oh, there's my opening. <laughs> up there. We'll head up through here. Uh. Here we are, the wind's blowing, making a little electricity. Got my solar panels on too. And fans going. AC adapter for the, yeah, AC inverters going. So I got my fans going and my little Arctic air, which is a piece of crap. But, uh, not too bad, I guess. There was a lot of people down here several weeks ago. And, guy literally living in a camp trailer over here uh, had his dogs and several people several vehicles actually it was a big fifth wheel but I'm uh, I'm sure uh, the BLM law enforcement probably come down told him leave or he left on his own accord that's the funny thing like I've said before if you're in a big old fancy camper or motor home or something that's worth a lot of money why they hardly even touch you but uh or talk to you but if you're down here in a crappy old gmc with a camper shell and even if you're picking up all the garbage and doing what you're supposed to they come down here and harass you they don't fucking care they just it's the way utah is if you ain't related to somebody you're blowing somebody you can't do nothing in this state so Anyway, told the ex on Messenger to stop by and I got like a cold six pack there in the cooler and not much else. I gotta go do some shopping, but we'll see how I feel or what happens. But, uh, anyway, uh, getting back to the thing about boss's girlfriend is it just come down to one of those things of uh when somebody knows more about your life than you do and you haven't told them anything it's obvious that they're gossiping and talking shit behind your back which i really shouldn't let that bother me and i'm not going to but the main reason i left and cut ties is that i will not stand between my best friend and the woman he's with i mean i'll work for him he's still my friend i'll do anything for him but I just can't be around there no more. I can't. I got treated like shit for 15 years. Why should I just go camp in his driveway and have somebody treat me nearly the same way? So I'm going to back out of it. I guess I'll spend the rest of my days down here in nature. Anyway, peace and love, brothers and sisters. and I hope everything finds you well today. Happy Thursday. Bye.